Montreal's Hugh Griffiths sparked interest from over 4 million people when he caught nature at work outside his front door and also managed to scorch his eyebrows. Oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> That's so scary. Whoa, indeed. But what caused the fireball in the sky? Oh my God. This bit takes place after a pretty big storm, and we can see in it there are two wires. One of these wires is a live wire, and one is a neutral wire. Now, normally, electricity wouldn't leap between the two, because air is a very poor conductor of electricity. However, when they're brought together by some kind of debris during the storm, they can short-circuit, and this can start current flowing from one wire to the other wire. When these wires get close enough together, that voltage difference starts ripping the electrons from their normal paths. It ionizes the air around the wires, and ionized air is a really good conductor. So it creates a short circuit through the air. Once the air is ionized, you just open the Pandora's box, because now a huge amount of electrons will flow freely from one line to the other. Now this releases a whole load of heat so much heat that we actually end up stripping the electrons off of atoms, creating something called a plasma. Plasma can reach temperatures of 35,000 Fahrenheit or 20,000 Celsius. That's enough to vaporize solid steel. 